Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC giving you a closer look at the Rocky Mountain ATVMC gear bag. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So today I am pumped to show you the new Rocky Mountain ATVMC gear bag. We've got a lot of gear bags that we offer here, but myself, the riders here, we've used a lot of gear bags over the years. So we were really excited when we knew we got to design our own because we took all the experience, what we like and dislike about certain gear bags, and we took that to make a gear bag that we are very happy with. And at first glance, just looking at this thing, first thing you're probably gonna notice is this thing is big. We wanna make sure while designing this that one, it was durable, but also that it could hold all your gear easily and then some. So we're just gonna go through, we'll show you all the pockets, what gear we have inside here so you can see just how easily it fits to help you decide if this should be your next bag. And when you look at the price of this bag, you just can't beat it. So first up, the construction. You're a 600 engineer fabric, which is nice and heavy duty. YKK zippers on here that all have these nice big red pull tabs. On the bottom, you've got plastic rails that are just gonna offer some durability and protection to the bottom of the bag, especially. I know I do. I take this thing out of the back of my truck and I just kind of throw it on the ground. So you want some protection on the bottom. You've got nice big oversized wheels when you're hauling this thing around. You also do have a telescoping handle as well. On the end of the bag right here in the front, you do have a clear pocket. If you wanna put like say an ID card inside here, that's a really good idea. So if for some reason you, you lose your bag or whatever it might be, somebody knows whose bag it is, they have a contact or a way to get a hold of you. So I would definitely take advantage of that. But let's talk about all the pockets and what you're getting inside here. So first up here in the front, down at the bottom, this compartment is your changing mat. I know some people might not use it, but we really like to have a changing mat. I actually use mine quite often. If you're in a location where you need something clean to step on while you're changing in or out of your gear, that mat really does come in handy. So you've got that at the bottom. And then on each side, you have these big zippered pockets. So I've got a pair of goggles inside here, but you can see it is a very large pocket right here on the front. Again, you're gonna have one of these pockets on the other side as well. You'll notice too that here on the end compartments, you've got these holes. That's just to help this bag breathe. If you've got a hot, stinky helmet inside here or some stinky boots, you wanna be able to get some airflow so you've got a lot of cutouts to help the bag do that. Now for your end compartments, got a helmet inside here. On this side, we have a pair of Garnet SG12 boots. Now for me personally, the SG12 is a great example of what fits inside here because this is one of the taller premium boots that is out there. And here's one thing that I was talking about earlier. When I said we wanna make sure your gear fits easily and then some, this was one aspect that was very important to us. I've had gear bags in the past where it was difficult to get both my boots into one of the end compartments and zip it up. Sometimes you feel like the bag was just gonna burst at the seams. So when we made this bag, we purposely made it a little bit taller. So the dimensions overall, 35 inches long, you're 20 inches tall, and you're 16 inches wide. And with those dimensions, you can fit your boots inside there, no problem. So we're really happy with the way that turned out. Also, as an added little bonus, you will have this bag that will come included. This could, you could put your boots inside here if you wanted to, if you don't wanna get your, maybe some dirt that's on the boots inside the bag. You could also put your helmet inside here, or maybe you just have dirty gear you wanna use it for. So different uses for that. Again, this will also come included with everything. Now, let's show you what's inside these main compartments. Now for your main compartment. So inside the lid, you've got two mesh zippered pockets. So for me, this is actually how I like to use the bag. I put my gloves in one of these zippered pockets. Now this other pocket you could use for really whatever you wanted to. It might be a good little location for a GoPro or something like that. Now in the main compartment, we've got the Atlas compression collar. We've got our knee braces. We've got our roost deflector. Our jersey and our pants. So with all this gear inside there, it fits easily and there's a lot of extra room. So that's why I was talking about your gear and then some. And what I like about this bag is if you're gonna maybe go on like say a five day trip, you're going for a long road trip, you wanna take some extra gear with you, you could have your helmet and your boots in the end pockets. You could put an extra pair of boots in this middle compartment or even an extra helmet with the gear that I just pulled out of the center. 
So like I said, we want to make sure this thing was plenty big to hold all your gear for whatever you're going to be using the bag for. There is one more smaller just Velcro pocket on the inside as well. But overall, if you're just looking for a really good gear bag that's got a ton of space, that is built really well at a price you cannot beat, this is the bag for you. If you do have questions or comments, want to get those answered, so make sure to leave those below. To grab yours today, it's simple. Click on the link or just head to RockyMountAtvMC.com. If you like the product spotlight on this bag today, make sure to do yourself a favor, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, stay up to date. All orders over $75 ship free, which means this bag ships free. I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.